Okay, let me show you how to animate a few things and uh, a few obstacles that you can put in your maze. First thing I'm going to do is uh, I'll insert another shape and I'll show you just uh, I'll show you with this pie shape it's called it looks like Pac-Man or pie. Now I can click and drag and I'm gonna put this on I'm gonna make it spin around so I have to avoid it. Now if I click and drag and I do it real wide and I make that spin it's gonna look really bad because it's going to be uh, out of balance. So to make it balanced I'm going to make it a perfect circle. To do that I hold down shift after I click and drag holding down shift now and it makes a perfect circle. Okay. So I'm going to stick that right here. I'm going to make it spin around. Of course, i got to change my color. So in the Format tab, change my fill to a nice color, whatever that might be. I'm going to take the outline off just because I like to do that. Now, if, OK, so I've got my shape, and I'm going to come to Animations. I want it to spin around. And so if I click the down arrow here, um, these animations make uh, are an entrance animation, the green ones. I don't want that because I want it to just be there when I get on the slide. I don't want an exit one because I don't want it to go away unless I do want that. You could want that, but for now, I just I want one of the one of these emphasis animations. I want this specifically spin. And so it's going to spin. Now, by default, it spins one time clockwise and then stops. I want it to keep spinning and I want it to spin fast. So I need to change the settings, and the settings are in the animation pane. So if I click on the animation pane button and come over here, it's the pie. And if I click this little down arrow, I can get uh, a bunch of settings. And I'm going to go right here. There's a lot of things to do, but I'm going to go here to effect options. That's where most of the settings are. Now, the effect, it's 360 degrees clockwise, so it spins once. I could change that to counterclockwise if I wanted. There's lots of options, and you just do it how you want. I can make it a sound while it's going, that would, might be annoying, so I'm going to leave it at that. Now I'm going to go over here to this other tab called Timing. Click on that. Um, I don't want it to start on click, meaning it's going to wait for me to click somewhere for it to start spinning. I just want it to click, uh, I want it to start automatically. And so I'm going to say with previous, meaning as soon as the slide comes in, that's the previous action on, that's the previous transition. When the slide comes in, I want it to start spinning. Um, this is the duration, meaning it takes two seconds to get around. I'm going to change that to one second, and that's fast. Uh, you could go really fast, but then it's extremely fast on this one. Uh, repeat. I want it to repeat also. I don't want it to just spin one time. So I'm going to have it repeat until the end of slide. This you'll do a lot, because then it won't stop. It'll just keep going until you finish the slide or lose the slide. As soon as it goes away from the slide, it will stop. Now. Once I've done all that, I'm going to click OK, and now it will just keep spinning. And now it's spinning counterclockwise, and it's spinning a little faster. Now, uh, I can right now, I can just go right through that. It's just a shape. I need an action on it, so I'm going to go to, go to Insert, click the Action button. I want this to be a mouse over also, not mouse click, because no one's going to click on that to lose. So mouse over, hyperlink to, select a specific slide, you lose. That's where I want it to go. I could play a sound, but I won't. Okay, now if I tried it. Okay, my cursor's not. Oh, there we go. Okay, now it's spinning and I have to go inside of it. If not, I lose. Just like that. If I hit it, I lose. Okay, it's working. Now, uh, two other things. One, we need something to win because all we have is uh, losing actions. So I'm going to grab a shape, just any shape. I'll get a star. Um, where's my stars? Down here. I'll click and drag. I'll hold down shift to make it a perfect shape star. Change the color as always. I like to do that just so it's not real boring. I usually take the outline off, but you of course can do it how you want. Now this one I'm going to have them click, the user click to win. So I'm going to put another action on it. I want it to be a click this time. I'm going to hyperlink to slide, but not the you lose slide. I want it to go to you win. And that way they can finally win. I can play a sound of clapping or whatever it is. Sometimes the sounds aren't the greatest, but you can insert your own sounds, find them online, and save them to your files. Whatever you want to do. Where's my clapping? Clap, 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 clap. Applause, probably. Oh, yeah, very top. Okay, so that should take them there. Now, one other thing let me show you. 
if I copy this bar right here that already has an action on it, that's the best way to do it. If I don't want to redo the action, copy that, and I'm going to make this bar move up and down so they have to avoid it. The way I'm going to do that, again, is an animation. I don't want it to be an entrance. I want it to uh, not emphasis this time. Actually, down here, I want it to be a custom motion path. So I'm just going to have it move in a line. Okay, so the action is to move straight down and then be done. I want it to go down and then back up and down until the end of the slide, and I want it to go a little faster, so I'm going to change the settings. First thing though, it only comes down to right here. I want it to come down a little further, so I'm going to grab this, click and drag, and I, as I do that, I don't want it to move left to right. I want it to go straight up and down, so I'm going to hold shift again as I'm clicking and dragging. Shift constrains it, and I'm going to bring it down until it hits that. Now, that's going to go down and stop, so I'm going to come over here to the animation pane, Again, click the down arrow and go to Effect Options. And in the options, I want it a few things. Smooth start and smooth end kind of makes it so it starts slow and goes fast. I just want it to be the same speed. So I'm going to change those. Sound, no. If I go to Timing, again, I want it to start with Previous so that it doesn't wait for me to click on anything. And I'm going to increase the speed to fast, maybe very fast on this one. And repeat, I want it to repeat so it doesn't just go down and stop. I want it to repeat go to, till the end of the slide. Oh, plus I want it to go backwards. So this is going to come down and then go back to the top, but it won't go backwards. I want it to go backwards, so I'm going to say Auto Reverse here in the Effect tab. Auto Reverse meaning it'll go down and then go back up, and then it will repeat till the end of the slide. Okay, so it will do that until the end. I need to increase that. Okay. Now if I try it, and it's already got the action on it because I copied it from here. I try this. There it is, going up and down. Oh, it does slightly move left to right. I need to hold down my shift when I made that last change. But it's going up and down. I can change that later. Okay, I have to avoid it. It's going real fast. I gotta avoid it twice. And then if I click here, and I get the applause, and then I can play again if I want. Okay, those are the very basics of making a maze in PowerPoint, a little video game. So check the instructions, the rubric, and what you need to do. You're going to make uh, several levels of this, and you can do just about anything you figure out, anything you want to do. So there's another video on triggers if you want to check that out. If you click on something, something moves or goes away, that's another fun thing to do.